Listen carefully.
This is Freightliner's 2014 Cascadia Evolution. Since the introduction of the Cascadia in 2007, there has been a continu continued effort to improve the aerodynamics and increase the efficiency of the Cascadia. Such improvements are the bumper air dam, bumper closure, cooling enhancements, elliptical shaped mirrors, windshield seal improvement, integrated antennas in the top of cab, chassis side fairing enhancements, side extender filler pieces in addition to the 20 inch cab extenders with an upper airfoil. Hood to bumper fill is an additional improvement in aerodynamics. Behind the left side cover under the driver door is the DEF tank fill port and access to batteries. Under the hood is a Detroit DD15 455 horsepower at 1650 foot-pound torque. The majority of the service points are located on the left side of the engine. On the right side of the engine is the washer fill port. Located in the bunk, are, bunk area are the controls for the HVAC system and the bunk lighting controls. Up front is an automotive style wraparound dash that puts switches and controls within driver's reach. When the key is turned on, the gauges on the dash will sweep and light up the indicator lamps. Top left above the tachometer is the wheel spin indicator, hill assist lamp, engine and brake indicator. Above the fuel gauge, top row is a voltage indicator lamp, diesel particulate lamp, high exhaust temperature lamp, air brake indicator, seat belt indicator, and trailer ABS. Second row is the malfunction indicator lamp, which is monitoring the emissions control system, check engine indicator, engine shutdown indicator, brake indicator, bright lights, and tractor ABS. Bottom left is a fuel restriction lamp. Bottom right is the water and fuel indicator lamp. Between the speedometer and tachometer is the fuel level and DEF level. Above that is located the driver information center. In the top left corner of the driver information center is a transmission gear indicator. On the left side of the steering wheel are the cruise controls. On the right side of the steering wheel is a control for real-time information in the driver information center. In the park position, additional information is available by using the switch on the dash with the arrow. You can access information such as trip, fuel, engine information, diagnostics, service, settings, ICU information. In the settings, will allow you to display gauges. You'll have available two indicator lamps at each time where you can monitor separate gauges. On the right side of the steering column are the control for the engine brake. Moving it down increases the level low, medium, and high. By twisting the control forward puts it in the drive position. Rotating it backwards puts it in the reverse position. On the end of the stock controls whether it is in manual or automatic. To achieve downshifting, you push the paddle towards the dash. Upshifting, you move it back towards the steering wheel. With the Cascadia, it is US EPA SmartWay certified.